we're going to look at how to create a nav bar that changes states as I scroll down the page. The first thing you'll need is to be able to know whether you are scrolled down the page at all. So um, in order to do that, we're going to write this code component that, um, and, and this is just how you determine whether you're scrolled down the page uh, at any point using React. So we install a, an event listener to the scroll event. And when we are scrolled down, then we set this is scrolled state to be true. And then we rely on this React context called data provider. This is a plasmic specific thing, but we rely on this to basically provide that bit of information uh, to the rest of the page. And we're basically setting this variable, um, this context variable is scrolled to be true or false, depending on whether we're scrolled down the page. And then we, re we provide, we register this React context, uh, sorry, this uh, React code component as what's called a global context provider in Plasmic. And all that means is there's just one global instance of it at the top of the page uh, for every page in Plasmic. Uh, everything in Plasmic has this provided to it. Back in the project, we can find that scroll provider now listed in the project settings. Now this navbar, um, it's its own component, so we can navigate to that component. And it's a simple component that just has these two different variants designed for it. There's a base variant, and then there's this scrolled variant. And um, you can look the, make these look different however you want, but in this case, we had the base variant be 96 pixels tall, and the scrolled variant be um, 48 pixels tall. And also the background color is transparent versus this dark color. And uh, the last thing is that there is this animated transition that we've set between um, uh, any property. So uh, anything that is different between these, like the height or the background color, is going to be automatically animated um, over a duration of half a second. And we did a similar thing with the text as well. So these are um, animated, and they have uh, basically this, this uh, base color versus this uh, white color in the variant. So uh, you can also preview what this looks like in its two different states. And if we switch back to the main homepage, so we have this instance of that component dropped in here. And normally with these variants, um, you can choose what variant you want to show um, just from this toggle here. But in this case, we want it to automatically switch between the two based on that um, scroll amount, basically uh, whether we're scrolled down the page or not. So. Uh, what we can do is we can use a uh, dynamic value here. So we can uh, specify a dynamic value. So instead of using a fixed value, we're going to make it uh, always be bound to whether we're scrolled down the page or not. So this came from that context provider. So we're going to save this. And now if we hit play, we can see that it works. One more way we could have done this is instead of um, setting this dynamic value here on the prop, we could have actually uh, done it centrally on the component itself. That means any instance of this component is going to have this behavior. But we could have set this um, this variant to always be conditionally uh, activated whenever some condition is true. And um, so we can say uh, we're going to use a dynamic value here. And that dynamic value is going to be uh, whether we're scrolled down the page or not uh, based on that uh, global context. So if we save this. Um, then we go back to the main homepage and we hit play. Um, it's the same thing. But this is going to happen uh, no matter which instance uh, you have. You know, we didn't, we didn't bind the, the property on this uh, instance of the component. So if I have a few more instances of this component, they're all going to behave uh, in a similar way.